Hello everyone and welcome to a gameplay of Chinatown Detective Agency by the best boys Get Silius and Sif Scott. Hello. So uh, Chinatown Detective Agency uh, was developed by General Interactive Co. Oh, and the publisher is Humble Bundle Games. I would say Humble Games. I keep calling them Humble Bundle because of all the sales they have. <laughs> Seriously, that's all I know them for. Right, and Whisper Games. So, um, this is a point-click adventure game. No spoilers. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay, and uh, we'll get into it. This is a detective-based uh, noir point-click adventure game. I love detective-based games from Inspector Waffles to, you can argue, Blackwell Detective Game. Um, if you guys have seen my stream on twitch.tv slash Gisliers underscore, I recently finished playing... Uh, the monkey, the second Monkey Alley game with Chuck's Revenge. I so I play a lot of point and click games. Let's put it that way. Uh, Scott, have you ever played any detective based point and click games? So ironically, the <clears throat> looking at some of the I feel like interest of this game, the only point and click adventure game that I played is actually the one that they had said took inspiration from this one, which was the old Carmen San Diego point and click games. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this game has voiceover. Excellent. We got voice acting. Okay, there we go. Resolution, window mode. I'm just going through the setting to be sure if there is a... The first thing I always check is if there are subtitles, because subtitles are important. I'm not the... Sometimes it'll pick up, so... Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. I think... Wait, you and I... Actually, you did help me play. We both played um, Nine Lives Noir, I believe, right? Noir? Yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a fun... That was a fun game recommend that I but agree. hey so let's start I like the ability to link everything yes <laughs> well i don't think I, I don't think you would have the ability to like uh call of duty vanguard that game has is the worst <laughs> call of duty in recent memory but anyway let's get back to the playing chime down detective agency the art is pretty stunning just based on the art so let's go do you want to start a new game oh yes i do i mean why wouldn't i <laughs> no i don't can I can I not start a new game within a new game? Yeah, can I not start? Press spacebar to skip. Oh, fantastic! I can skip entire cutscenes. Singapore. Cool. Twenty thirty. Hey, it's only twelve years in the future. Hey. Man looks upon all that he has made, and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see. My greatness. I feel he cold recounts so his deeds in word <laughs> and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe. He just passed two guys in a coffee shop. What is he talking about? Into action. So he creates his greatest work of all. A tribute to his likeness. An extension of his being. So this is why we create Neptunia, isn't it, Scott? Maybe. A witness <laughs> to the brilliance of its master and the executor of his commands. This guy's just jogging through the dangerous neighborhoods of all but time man's like nothing. greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption. Get over it. Vanity. Hubris. Uh, okay, that was weird. And it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. Ah, yes, anime. Anime is untainted by humankind. A little bit. Hmm. Honestly, cool intro. Uh, that jogger has literally just jogged to the most dangerous part of the world, you know? <laughs> it's a start. Ooh, voice acting. All right. So so far, we seem to have a lot of you, uh, a lot of uh, huge UI interface. 
We have a phone, messages, things right here, map, whatever Horus is for now, we don't know. An action, the web, and settings. This looks going to be a bit complex. Hopefully it's a tutorial. Hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. I'm here for the housewarming party. Thank you, Justin Ko. <laughs> That's weird. Um, the... If there's a looping walking sound effect and he's not walking, unless he's just stepping there, tapping his feet. Well, Added. well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days, even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelong. Hey, brought you a little gift. Thanks. I don't drink, Justin. Oh, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. I like Justin's sense of humor. <laughs> Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh, cutting to the chase, huh? I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you'll need to see him somewhere more discreet. So, Scott, I think you've seen uh, myself stream or you've seen the Blackwell series, how it has really gorgeous pixel art and really good portrait art. Yep. This game is giving me those vibes. I like the pixel art <laughs> and the portrait art's really well done. Honestly, SPF. I really like the pixel art because it seems like it's a bit of a, like a minimalist approach. And I think that's also kind of a help for when you get to see the profiles that they have for each character. Yeah. Civilian. <sighs> when are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. Firstly, you know, you're welcome. Oh. Yeah. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you do work you regret for a pittance and you get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Uh. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. No. My days as a cop are over. Oh, no harm in asking. Alright, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. He might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. How are you one? Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Hmm. Like I said, maybe it's obviously this... We got Justin wasn't joking. Edits, yeah. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. Yeah. I hope they fix that sound loop. I don't know, maybe it's just my computer or I glitch it in some way. Because it's, it's weird to hear footsteps when no one's walking. That is really weird. Yeah. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. So that should narrow down my options. Welcome to Chinatown Detective Agency. Missions will take you to different places in Singapore and the world. Right now, the well, mission tasks are find, is finding a Bodhi tree. Uh, click on the map button in the bottom panel with uh, across the MRT uh, MRT map and click a location of travel there. Oh, so you just click here and you travel. Oh, that's snazzy. Okay, so it's this. Okay, so it doesn't look like this game has a um, a two-click approach. So a two-click approach is that rep. So left-click. Uh, uh, let's be more specific. 
left click will do the action you want to do and right click will break it down to like actions you may choose to do from it um an example of this would be in um I will, i'll make a very basic term of it um i recently and I, I played randall's monday recently and randall's monday you can left you have a two click pros you can left click and then you can choose your action you want to do then you do it some games such as old school old school point click games uh you have multiple suite of actions which are located at the bottom of the screen you could type in or actions you could do by activating by using the mouse wheel it seems so far the only action i have is the one click see all right i wonder if that might change when we get more things to do or if it's just gonna stay like that mm -hmm. which is totally fine because they have they have mechanics here so anything light up green is something I can interact with. Well, that's good to know. Interesting. They only seem to have talking cutscenes when it happens. They don't have uh, talking cutscenes when playing so far. Interesting. Hmm. Inbox. Nothing. Okay, so let's see. We gotta hit the the tree. Where is the tree? MRT to set the go. There we go. Let you know. Find a place to find a boonie tree. A non-native species in Singapore. Okay, can I look it up to find out what a bowie, a bow, bowie tree is? Can I use the web? Yes. Ah, that's weird. It just opens up a browser for you, eh? Yeah, it actually opened up a new browser for me. That's weird. Wow. Okay. I mean, I guess that's one way. Yes. I thought it was an in-game internet browser. That's weird. So I guess I'll try to look up what a Bodhi tree is. Uh, that's a what I'm just saying. I'm gonna if you, luckily I'm luckily I'm using my great Google uh, tech and type in Bodhi tree. Bodhi tree Singapore. Cadbury Road in Singapore, maybe? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Well, I'm just gonna pick a random place in the map. That just seems weird. As a game mechanic. So let's see. Yeah. Got, yeah. Person of interest, data. Well, they say we get dialogue options, so you can look at your dialogue, which is nice. <laughs> Botanic Garden. I'll oh, go there. Yeah. <laughs> Travel scene. There we go. Insta travel. There we go. We went to the botanical garden. <laughs> the botanical gardens first laid out in 1859 during the British rule. During British rule. Countless species of plants and animals have been called this home for years. I'm here from one particular, the Bodhi tree by Swan Lake. But clients should be waiting there. I'll need to hack my way past the maintenance gate through. Oof, I'm still hearing that footstep. I actually think it's a glitch. Yeah, I don't think that'd be a part of the game then. Yeah. You're still hearing it. If it's just in like one cutscene, maybe. Right. So apparently riding a train costs $2. I lost some bank account. We got a we got monetary things going on here. So we need to hack. Welcome to Rosara. Connect the gate to hack properly. Uh Are you trying to find something that matches that? I guess. Hmm. Match and drop? Uh, we found... There we go. Match. Okay. A line bar? No. Hmm. Yikes. Yikes. There we go. Oh, 
Oh no. Yikes. Yikes. I don't know what this one. There we go. That would be cool. <laughs> so we have roughly one more. Oh, line bar. This is line bar. Damn. Line bar. There we go. <laughs> there we go. So we have a 50 50 to roll. Oh. Nah. This will cost 300 to try again. <laughs> Just cost money to try again. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. It goes all the way back. Yeah. That's not the right symbol. Okay. Triangle. Triangle. Okay. Triangle. There we go. Okay. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> yeah. A there match puzzle. Go. Yeah. Memorization. Alright. I thought it was still like, what are we doing? Okay, we're doing a match puzzle. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? Jeez, look at this guy. I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. You mean break crime? <laughs> <laughs> Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. He works for gamers. Das. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. Okay. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, <laughs> not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Mm-hmm. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. I've always heard the term not inflict coercion. I didn't think it's because you could say coerce out, right? Hey, learn something new. I'm, you know, uh, us, us, <laughs> us, us, us smart English boys learn some new English every day, you know, right? Hey, that is very true. Yeah. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, no, I won't stop you. Today, you know, right? One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. Mm -hmm. The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. Unironically, the uh, NG Ung, that last name is very popular over here. I know. My doctor's last name is Ung. Uh, I had a dentist whose last name is Ung. One of my co workers' last name. It's a very, like, obviously there's variants and not the same Ung family, okay? But it's just like, you know, like, you know, like Hopefully, Paul or Johnson, just, yeah. Just keep meeting the same family over and over. Oh, that would be uncool. I was like, wait, you're all related? Oh, no. <laughs> you talk about how much, how horrible I am under the knife. But no, all seriousness, it's a, it's a, it's a somewhat popular last name in, in the Asian community. Same way you can think of like Bronze, like uh, like Paul or Jefferson or Jeffrey. You know these very common for English names. I, I, yeah, yeah. Or you know, that's that's it from there. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. Really? It reads. Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this. To know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. Okay. You're probably right. I'll get on and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. You'll know where you are. Most of the time. 
I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kind of dulls the edge. <laughs> That's a bit... Well, we're getting a little fast, are we? <laughs> Resourceful <laughs> and funny. I like you already. Good luck. All right. And with that, if you're liking the content, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video as well, and be sure to follow myself and Sip Scott social medias, uh, which is in the link below, so you'll be updated when we do other gaming stuff, uh, streaming, YouTube, and otherwise. This is Gitsilius and Sip Scott signing out on the, our, our, our first playthrough of a Chinatown Detective Agency. Yeah.